Hi guys, uh, Wintermeat here, and as I said last week, I'd make an animation out of this. So, here's what I've got. So, since I've already made this, I'm not going to show you how to do this step by step, but I'll just give you a few uh, details on how I did it. The whole animation is only five frames long for firing. And there's a couple of like weapon training at the end. I don't know, I was just playing a lot of CSGO recently. This reminds me of the inspect. Anyways. So what have we got? If you look at the actual uh Dope sheet. It looks kind of complicated, but really it's just the same five frames duplicated over and over again. So what happens? Well, we start with the bolt sliding backwards. So this is animated to go back and forth, just like that. I make the gun rock back on frame 7 at the same time as these muzzle flares come out. And uh, this is made with a pretty cool effect. You can see that there's kind of two colors, which is created by having this uh, this icosphere, which is just stretched out, having uh, back face calling on and only showing uh, kind of the inside faces. And this has to do with playing with normals. You have you can search this up yourself. There's a bunch of tutorials on it, and an inner one. And these two just basically overlap. So. I scale it to zero, uh, as you can see here, next frame, scale it to normal size, next frame, disappears. So it's only uh, one frame of this showing up. Uh, in terms of alterations from my previous tutorial, I changed the ground floor to be uh, just a metallic plane. The material is pretty simple, it's just a, a random texture I got off of textures.com. This one specifically, uh, and I scaled it up and applied it to the roughness of the principled uh, node. I also added this dot grid I had lying around, which I think looks pretty cool. And I made these uh, normal grids and I attached a wireframe modifier to them. And I also animated them to move left and right, just very slowly, moving perpendicular to one another. So yeah. Also, uh, another change I made was the ambient occlusion. So you can see if I turn it off, these edges uh, around the shading are much more sharp. But when I turn it on like this, they kind of get smoothed out. I like this look a little bit better, even if it's less non-photorealistic. And I also added volumetrics. So this was actually incredibly simple. All I did was add a volume scatter node and turn down the density a lot. 0 0.02. And now we have a nice fog-like effect once uh, we have the muzzle flares. Also, uh, one last thing, because I wanted this muzzle flare to emit light, but I didn't want to add uh, any like complex indirect lighting setup. I just made a lamp, uh, a spot, not a spot lamp, a point lamp right here, and I animated its emission to go with the muzzle flare. So one frame pretty much off, Next frame, I set to 100, so it starts to light up the ground underneath it. And the next frame, it's off again, and you can see that's gone. Yeah, I also added an interesting effect to the camera. If you use the damp track uh, back to the negative Z axis, uh, you can have your camera basically just follow your model. Oops. Uh, but if it gets too close, it'll glitch like that. So I just made the camera move in um, and back out so I can have like an infinite looping animation. I also added some depth of field, a little bit more. And uh, I tweaked the freestyle a little bit just to be a bit smaller, 0 0.8 as opposed to uh, 1. In terms of the compositing, 
and a defocus node to further blur out the background. You might think that's a little bit redundant considering I already have a depth of field effect, but it acts in a small difference. And I added some chromatic aberration around the edges. Now for sound, I have this in a different file. So all this is is a couple of oh you probably won't be able to hear it, but you can see it in the final video. But I just took some uh empire sounds, I know it's not super accurate. I added some reverb and audacity and some other effects. And then I timed it so that you would hear the peak of the sound with the muzzle flare. So it just basically starts at the same time this shows up. And yeah. So that's it. Animating this, um, it took about an hour and a half, so it's really not that hard. Most of that time was just experimenting with all the different features of Blender I could use to try to do this. And there's a lot of extensions to this. I still don't understand how to use the action editor, but if you did, you could definitely use it to combine all these animations into like a single action, which is kind of like a group of animations. But I haven't got that figured out, so I just manually duplicated the animation. Yeah, if you want this model and this scene, I think I'll put it on my website if you check in the description. And if you like this tutorial, please remember to uh, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.